everyone today we are going to read about threat and abortion last last time we have seen classification of abortions so first threat and abortion comes under spontaneous miscarriages isolated recurrent today we are going to see definition clinical features investigations and management so first we will see the definition it is a clinical entity where the process of abortion has started but has not progressed to a state in which recovery is impossible so here where the process of abortion has started bleeding slight bleeding started but has not reached to a progress where recovery is impossible that means treatment can be given continuation of pregnancy can be done so this is a threat and threat and the name itself is that it's threatening to get miscarriage so but it has not progressed to a state in which recovery is impossible that means possible of pregnancy the patient can continue pregnancy by taking treatment so this is the definition it's clinical features clinical features bleeding per vagina pain pelvic examination in that speculum examination and digital examination first we will see bleeding per vagina so it is usually slight and may be brownish or bright red in color in rare occasions uh, the bleeding may be brisky especially in the late second trimester the bleeding usually stops spontaneously so this we can see next pain bleeding is usually painless but there may be mild back ache we can see back pain or dull pain in the lower abdomen uh, pain appears usually following the hemorrhage so that is about pain next pelvic examination it should be done gently as much as possible it should not be done hardly so first if we do speculum examination it reveals if any bleeding is there is escaping through the external loss if we see digital examination the uterine size correspond to the period of amenorrhea only and the uterus and cervix feel soft pelvic examination should be avoided when you have a choice of ultrasonography if we have ultrasonography then we need to avoid this pelvic examination because it may increase the chances of infection next investigation so routine investigation should be done first is a blood test so blood for hemoglobin because blood uh, blood uh, hemorrhage is there hematocrit reverse abo and rh grouping uh, because in mostly in abortion blood transfusion may be required uh, if the abortion become inevitable inevitable abortion means where the recovery can't be possible so uh, in, in inevitable there might be a so if threaten is going to continue with the inevitable where the condition of pregnancy is impossible so it is very important for blood blood transfusion and serum progesterone serum progesterone level should be during the pregnancy it should be about 25 nanograms per ml so here if it is below 25 nanogram per ml definitely it indicates uh, abortion and uh, more generally indicates a viable pregnancy 95% viable pregnancy so this is about the blood test next urine test so urine uh, urine for immunological test should be done but it is not helpful as the uh, as this uh, test remains positive for a variable period even after death of the uh, fetus also it will be positive only so it is not uh, suggestible okay next finally ultra ultrasonography 
अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी फाइंडिंग्स में भी ए वेल फॉर्म जेस्टेशन रिंग विथ सेंट्रल इकोज फ्रॉम द एम्ब्रियो इंडिकेटिंग हेल्दी फीटर्स ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ फीटल कार्डियक मोशन कैन बी सीन थ्रू अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी आई ऑलरेडी सेट दैट दैट इफ अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी इज अवेलेबल देन नीड नॉट टू गो फॉर पेल्विक एग्जामिनेशन नेक्स्ट मैनेजमेंट सो हियर डाइजी पम्प फाइव एम जी शुड बी गिवेन कॉज टू रिलीव द पेन एंड द मदर शुड बी गिवेन रेस्ट अंटिल ब्लीडिंग स्टॉप एंड प्रोजेस्ट्रॉन दैट इज फोर हंड्रेड एम जी ओरली आर वेजनली शुड बी गिवेन इन टू डिवाइडेड डोसेस कैन बी गिवेन एंड एंटी डी फ्रॉम इफ मदर इज आर एज नेगेटिव सो इट शुड बी गिवेन ओनली beyond 12 weeks if before 12 weeks it, it is not recommended beyond 12 weeks only should be given anti nursing management so first as a nurse you need to check blood loss how much blood is lost so how how it it uh, will going to know blood loss by saving and weighing the pads you have to weigh the pads which will, which is used by the mother so how much blood loss easily will come to know save any tissues in the pad ask the patient or if you found any tissues on the pad tissues there might be a fetal or conceptual material so you need to save tissue in the pads next check for tpr temperature pulse respiration monitor fetal heart rate and maintain intake and output chart it is very important to maintain io chart so prognosis is very unpredictable in isolated spontaneous threatened miscarriage uh, in about 2/3 the pregnancy continue beyond 28 weeks so beyond 28 weeks it can be continued in the rest it will be terminates to inevitable or missed miscarriage before 28 8 weeks so i mean to say before 28 weeks if they are suffering with this threatened abortion so it might be lead to inevitable that means missed miscarriage dead uh, death of the fetus can occur but beyond about 28 weeks so pregnancy will be continued by treatment by management so this is about the threatened abortion so in this when the patient is getting discharged what kind of advices will be given first inform the patient that coitus should be avoided coitus coitus means sexual intercourse they should not participate in the sex during this uh, threatened abortion and patient should limit the activities tell the patient to take the rest until bleeding stops bed rest complete bed rest and reassurance the mother will be having severe depression and anxiety if it is a primary mother there will be a huge anxiety so reassurance should be given to the patients so this is about the threatened abortion next session we are going to see inevitable miscarriage thank you